Hi everyone, welcome to Hangout and Art. This is a live stream with a live audience. Um, I'm talking with people in chat who also enjoy um, creating all types of art and um, we just kind of share ideas and inspire each other. So feel free to jump in, ask questions, uh, work along. Um, it's not a tutorial. Um, it's just me doing some art and you see my process. So, hey Judy. Hey, Dar. Hi, Jillian. Okay, so this is kind of an impromptu. My son's also down here chatting with uh, friends on his video game. So you may hear him in the background, but um, hopefully, hopefully he's not too loud. So I figure having him in the background is better than no stream at all. So... Okay, hey, Judy, Dar, Jillian, Linda. Okay, Linda, oh, you're working, working, not working on art. Okay. <clears throat> so I thought I would do some jelly printing today. Um, I don't know if any of you know, Terry Trouble's do, gonna do a um, jelly printing swap. She had posted, um, she posted a while ago, but wasn't really going to start it until after the scavenger hunt is over. So if anybody's interested in swapping jelly prints, contact Terry. Uh, Jillian's making cards. What do you do with acrylic paint or stamps? What are you using, Jillian? Hey, Josie. Okay, uh, working for, yeah, mental break. A mental break's always nice during the day. Kind of clears your mind. All right, so <clears throat> I made this last night. I was just, I was messing around with um, a technique I saw. Let me show you. So I had this page. This was actually um, one of Joan's stencils. Trying to see what Kia said. I'm making cards. They're going to be put in handmade. Oh, nice, nice. Um, okay, so this, I was working on this yesterday. It was just, this is actually one of Joan's stencils, the gold in the background, and I wanted to do something with it. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen, um, hey, Janet. Um, recently, I've been seeing people go over, um, go over their pages to tone them down with these little mini rollers. And you can, um, <laughs> I didn't even notice Janet <laughs> and it's kind of nice because it um, it just pushes it back a little bit not as much as if you use a paintbrush or your finger or whatever so um, I'll put a little bit more on I'll, with some ink but I was using my jelly plate to put the paint on and then doing pulls I had a really dirty jelly paint and um this was actually just my leftover paint, which I thought this really came out pretty cool. I was using a six by six paint, a uh, six by six plate, and just putting it in different uh, places. Hey, Eileen. So yeah, but let me um, let me get some ink out, and I'll show you how this uh, this brayer, this mini brayer or acrylic roller works, and.
All right, I'm just going to do a little bit of white ink. I love the Vaseline. That's what I'm going to try, Eileen. I'm going to do the jelly plating with the uh, Vaseline technique. Did you try it yet, Janet or Eileen? Did either one of you try it yet? Yeah, I saw that. When did Colleen stream? Tuesday night after she streamed. That's what popped up on my, um, for the next video. So I watched it. I know, I thought it was cool. And I also wanted to compare if there's a big difference when you, um, I'll show you, it's kind of hard to explain. But yeah, I'm gonna play, after I show you this, I'm gonna play around with that. Okay, so here, like if I wanted to just tone down this color a little bit. See how it just leaves a little bit, a little bit of white over here. I probably need more ink. Oh, wow. I think I should, I think I have some down here. Otherwise, I'll go upstairs and get some out of my bathroom and buy some new to put up there. All right. Um, it wasn't, I mean, um, <laughs> um, it was no messier than it is when you do jelly prints. I mean, you can be messy with your jelly prints. So see, oops, well, that's a little bit too much. All right, let's see. So see, you just kind of try not to put a whole bunch on. So let's see, it just kind of, see how it is down here? That has a bit too much, but it just kind of lightly goes over the color. And what's nice about acrylic paint is if, you, you know, there's a spot that you want more to peek through, you can just go back with a baby wipe. But yeah, but this just gives like just a little hint of white to kind of tone it back. Or, see, I went over it with all, all these colors on here were put on with a brayer. So it's just a bunch of light layers of colors. So everything else kind of shows. Um, and here, whoops. Okay. So actually, this is the first time I really had to brush any back, but all these other layers, I just put them on with the rollers. So yeah, so that's kind of fun, but I have seen people using this recently. And then um, I have a couple bins of, hey Gilly, hey CB. Um, I have a couple bins of just ephemera magazine pages, stuff from Norma, Nora, Norma that she sent. So I was trying to find pictures that would go with it. And so these are a few, few ideas. So we'll see, we'll see. I just thought this was a pretty picture. So yeah, so that's what I was playing around with that last night while Shauna was on. It's kind of cute. So, so we'll see. I'll do something with it. But yeah, but I think today what I'm going to do is I'm going to jelly plate. Oh, and I did also worked on, <clears throat> this is my um, accordion book for um, my Wonderless class. 
Does she do that, CB? Yeah, I've seen more um, artists doing it. Probably, I don't know, about a month or two ago, I saw somebody just doing it with ink. Hi, Sharon. Um, so I got two of these little mini brayers to have because all I had were the big ones. So I picked these up on Amazon. Um, maybe um, Colleen's not here. Eileen, if you post a link, um, do look up on Amazon one inch, one and a half or two inch brayers. Look up one inch brayer. And I think that's how I found it. So if anybody's interested, just uh, Google one inch brayers on Amazon. I know, <laughs> danger, danger. Okay, so here's my accordion book, which I started the other day. I just had this page finished and then I got some, some more papers. So this is actually some old scrapbook paper I had. This is, um, I don't know if you can see that. This is some, just some watercolor paper. It's some really heavy watercolor paper I'd bought to have. Oh, what have you bought, Gillian? Anything fun? And then here, this is some of that, um, some of the rice paper with the fibers in it that's like mulberry paper that I got. Um, this is the rice paper that actually has like, it looks like it has pieces of rice in it. It's like the grains of rice. Thanks, Eileen, for posting. Um, and then here's the back side. Here's some rice paper, some old scrapbook paper. Oh, fun, Jillian. What kind of dyes do you like getting? Do you get like uh, flowers, texture? And then I put some washi tape on it. So I'm waiting, I'm gonna keep adding to it. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's how my Wonderless project's coming along. You still haven't gotten your rag paper? Well, start it, um, just start it with what you have. That's what I did. I just did, I start it with a couple sheets and every day I keep adding on to it. Oh, holidays. Oh, that'll be fun. Okay. I clean these off. Let me clean this up and I'll get my, um, I'm just going to get the, my regular jelly plate out because um, I'm not going to do the Vaseline on the big one. Although after I try it a couple times, I may I may at some point do that. Okay. Am I still here? Okay, on my other computer, I'm seeing a one of my old videos. There's paintbrushes and ink and stuff. I'm like, wait a minute, that's kind of weird. Hold on, let me. Okay. 
There. Okay, I must have um, I must have clicked on the wrong box. Also, what I noticed, I turned off my um, I turned off my autofocus, and it's not going in and out, and it's just staying focused. So that's good. I'm going to try to remember to keep that off. All right, let me get this stuff out of the way and get my jelly print out. Oh, and here was another little puppy, too, I thought was kind of cute. I want to try and do something with him. It's not white, it's pink. It's pink. You know what? I'll put an I'll put an apron on. I know I always I just always art in my normal clothes usually. Let me put an apron on though. Thank you for for um pointing that out because I don't want to get I don't want to get a ton of paint on this. <laughs> okay, so just I want to, uh, all my clothes have become our clothes. I know a lot of mine have. Um, here's my disclaimer. Any weird noises you hear? My son's talking. He's playing video games and talking with his friends. So... Instead of not streaming, I figured we just put off, put up with him talking. We probably, I, I don't think you can really hear him too much. Let me know if you can. All right. All right, I've got my, I have my um, apron on. Yeah, I didn't think so. I mean, if it if this was like a class that somebody paid for, you know, I wouldn't. I'd ask him to go upstairs, but he's he went out. He had to. He was out working out, and he went to skate it today. So <clears throat> he's just hanging with his friends. Wasn't gonna make him not, you know, go upstairs or anything. I know. I he was on with his friend. And I'm like, oh, do you, do you care if I stream? You know, you don't have to be real quiet or anything. And his friend's like, oh, wow, your mom streams video games? He's like, I'll watch her. I'm like, no, <laughs> art videos. I thought that was kind of funny. <clears throat> All right, so let's use basic. Basic or my Liquitex basic paints, and let me pull up my stencils. 
<clears throat> I'm going to do some jelly printing and try the um, try the Vaseline technique. That um, if you go to jelly jelly plates or jelly art, uh, Brigitte Knopson or Coopson um, has a video on it. All right, let me just bring up my stencils. Um, if you want to play along, Beth, um, I'm just doing, I'm just doing some jelly prints and stuff because my stash is kind of getting a little bit low and I want to make some more, um, like journal starter books. So... Okay, and these just got cleaned, so they're pretty smooth. There should be no attic texture. And I've got some, let me get some prints that I already have. And I can start with those for the base. Let me see what I've got. Okay, so these already have some some layers. Like these just oh, you know what these are? This is actually this is. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, it's not going to focus because my autofocus is off. Um, these are magicals in um, white acrylic paint or magicals in paint. All these with the little specks on them are magicals with acrylic paint. So I'll use, oh, I'm gonna keep that to the side. I like that one. So I'm gonna use these, I'll put, oh, here's one I could use, I could start with this. Oh, these are old ones. I'll start with these. Here's some more I can add to that. Oh, let me. Is chat working, you guys? All right, I just put live chat on. You guys are probably just being quiet. 
Yep, butterscotch. Oh, here's those are the Marabou sprays. Waiting with anticipation. Okay, I've got some I can start with. So I can just go ahead and do. The um, Vaseline. Oh, here's another Meld Magical paper on. This was on that textured rice paper. It's kind of yummy. Okay. So, what we want to do. Oh, good. Good. I've got some Vaseline down here. Hi, Monique. All right. So what we need to do is put the paint. Okay, I've got some stencils. Okay, get some stencils, put the stencil on this, put the Vaseline down, take the stencil off, layer of paint. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, I had to think there for a minute. All right. Okay, this one might be good to use because it's actually a little bit sticky and it'll stick to the paper. The Vaseline won't go underneath. <clears throat> Here's a heart one. guys I've got all my stencils are actually organized and put in the um, uh, put in put away so they're just taking me a minute to get to Don't So here's a few to start with. <laughs> I know, I don't know what takes longer. Just flipping through them, you know, in a, in a stack or trying to get them out of their, the binder. All right. Let's try, we can do a couple. Let's try that one. And I wanna try these out. See how these, I don't know if anybody has any of these, they're art. 
Is that Joanne's brand? Artsy. They were running over here. Um, they're kind of sticky on the back, so they may work good. So the Vaseline won't go through. <laughs> it's not fluorescent tempera paint. It's um, it's a spray. This might be a Diane Reevesly spray. Yeah. I knock one. I got the 60s thing. Oh, what the hell? I'm trying to leave. Just tempera work on jelly plates. I it might be a little too wet. <clears throat> you could try it. You could try it, but tempers, they might be interesting. Okay. Um, I do have some tempers. I haven't taken them out in years. <laughs> With my luck, they're probably all dried up. I've got all kinds of kids craft paint and stuff. I gave a lot of my old acrylics and paint to my, my niece is a third grade teacher. So I give her a lot of my old art stuff. I thought this would be kind of rough rubbing this on, but it's not too bad. I guess it just depends on the stencil. So you put a layer over. Trying to get in all the crevices. Oh, your, your tempera? Well, stir it up and then roll it out on the plate, see what happens. <clears throat> I guess you could use, you know what I might try? A, uh, oh, I don't like the black ones either. They're licorice. I don't like licorice. I'm going to use a, um, a little tool spatula. Since I have them, I might as well use them. Okay, so yeah, this way I think this will be better to make sure you get in the crevices with. Just make sure um, you don't get the Vaseline on the outside of the stencil, otherwise it's gonna block. You'll see yellow there. So I guess that's all, hopefully it's all coating in. Oh, don't use too much, okay. Don't use too much. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put it on and then scrape it back. These aren't too thick. Okay. Okay, bye, Gilly. All right, so we lift these off. Let's put these over here.
All right, so you can kind of see, you can kind of see where the Vaseline is. Yeah, you don't want too much Vaseline because you want it not to mush out when you put it on the jelly plate. So hopefully, hopefully I didn't put too much on. We'll see. It's we're just experimenting, right? All right, so let's use something that will give nice contrast. Let's make it a little bit shimmery. Oh, you just washed your dog, Deb. What kind of dog do you have? Oh, here. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of this in. Ooh. I have to order more of that. Oh, shoot. I should have gotten out my big art journal. Let me just get some pieces of paper out. See, just adding that little bit of color makes it more interesting. You don't just have um, a crud. Well, we'll see how that turns out. I just brayered on top of the Vaseline. Okay. Uh, it looks okay. It should be all right. So who do... Okay, so we press down. I think it should be okay. It didn't look like it smeared too much. I'm trying... Did she brayer on top to press it down? Yeah, I was just, I was worrying about its smudging uh, button. I didn't want to lose my butterfly. All right, well, let's see what happens. Okay, it did do something. Now we have to wait for it to dry. Let's do some cleanup prints.
Okay, so I'll use those for starters. Let me try. Okay, I'm gonna try this stencil girl stencil. That should be cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think it's better. This is the only thing. I wish there was an easier way to put this on that you didn't have to use um, your finger. Oh, that might work. Let me go a little quicker. Well, and the thing with the Vaseline, you don't have to worry about it drying too fast. Like if you were putting some kind of paint on here or something. And with this one, it might be kind of cool if it's not, if all the holes aren't completely covered with Vaseline, it would give it a more um, weathered look maybe. Okay, so if you want to speed up the process, I do think the the foam brush, it goes quicker, but let's see how good it works. Let's see if it works, so. Well, my hands will be nice and soft when I'm done. Okay. All right, I feel it on there. I don't really see it, but hopefully it's there. <laughs> Not me. Ooh, I don't want to get it in my hair. Get it. All right, so now I think I want to use like a Payne's gray and a silver is one that she used and it turned out really pretty. All right, I'm just looking for my Payne's gray. Here it is. All right, paint's gray, and then she used some silver. Okay, you guys want to go take one power out. Find my no, not silver. Here we go.
Yeah, they did turn out. They turned out nice. Hopefully they'll turn out just as good. I'm gonna try and not put as much paint on this one because I think I got way too much paint on the other one. Was there something where you would put like Vaseline over, over a journal page maybe and then wipe it off and it would make it look at metallic or something? Or you, you'd just use it as a resist? Oh, hi, Teresa. Hi, Blue. Do you have a good nap? Did you guys have a good nap? Another pretty day here. It's sunny. It's supposed to be 56 today. But then they said they're going to get snow. I'm just happy there's sun. All right. Let's do... Let's roll this out. get as much of this off as I can and it's probably going to take some of that green up with it too but that's okay all right hopefully Let's see, here we go. Joyce, I can't, I missed what you said. Did you say you had used Vaseline? Oh, that's weird. That that's some of the pattern, I think. Cool. All right. Okay. So we'll let that dry. So what's going to happen is once the paint dries, I'll wipe I'll rub the Vaseline off and then the paint underneath is supposed to show up brighter so we'll see we'll see what happens but yeah that is kind of cool okay see this one was still wet I bet that I bet the second one will be drier before the uh, first one okay now with this this will make a cool cleanup print Let's do one. Let's do Yeah, you have a back. It just didn't shoot it right away. That happens all the time. There's a white fly on where. All right, this is the weirdest thing. I got a new paint. And I don't know why, but the whole top, it looks like it was cut off or something. But it's still, I can still get it out. It's not dried up. It's just kind of a pain. Vaseline and paint and paper with plastic wrap. And then you let it dry. But then what? What do you do with it? Do you wipe back the Vaseline then, Joyce? Or you just leave it for texture? All right, let's see what happens. Uh, 
yeah but it was like the um it's like it's like it got sliced off with a knife I don't know what happened. I don't know if it had fallen on the floor and something rolled over it or I don't know. Then it's weird. Oh, don't I mean don't look now, Joyce, but I mean if you think of it later, I'm just curious. I got it right here. I just saw it. Okay. And hopefully this will bring up. Okay, you think after it dried, you gently wiped it off. Yeah, and then the color would show, the color that was underneath would show up. Hopefully this will make a good cleanup print. Yeah, I probably can't heat dry these because if I put heat on this, the Vaseline will just melt. So I think you have to let those air dry. Yeah. Yeah, you'd probably have to let it wait like at least a day, right, Joycey? I think it's going to be cool, but because I think the Vaseline's on there, it keeps everything moist. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, it's cool where I picked it up, I think. The Vaseline keeps it pretty weird. Let me see. Oh, you know what? Let me get some deli paper. Yeah, I am. Oh, this is cool. Let me quack, 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 quack. Are you messing around with those rugs again, Eileen? <laughs> This is going to be pretty. So, yeah, that's a good, good starter or um, that's a good starter print. All right, let me see if I can... Um, Get any more of this off. So I think when you do a cleanup print, the uh, deli paper is um, better. It has more, it absorbs the paint better than that good cardstock. All right, so. I wish Norma was here. I'd try a, um, 
one of the magazine prints, but I, I can't even think how to start those right now. I haven't watched a video in a while. Welcome back, Vaughn. Okay, just make it a little more interesting. Okay, and here's my here's my uh, parchment colored um, deli paper. Let's try that on here since it's a lighter one. Okay, I need to watch the time. I have to go at 4.30 and pick up my puppies, so I've got about 20 more minutes. And I think these are, those are starting to dry. That's kind of cool. I got some more color up. Let's see if I can get any more of this off. So I've got some good starter layers here. Let me try one more. Hey, Shauna. We're just, I'm just messing around with my jelly plate. I'm trying that Vaseline resist thing and I'm waiting for the I did a couple prints with it I'm waiting for those to dry so I can finish it and I'm just kind of playing around here too much Shauna I just did a couple um, jelly prints with the Vaseline resist technique which I'm waiting for those to dry and right now I'm just messing around with cleaning up the plate and making prints eh. well I just lost everything I had on that one. Oh well I'll just put more layers on this later. Oh, here, let me keep it. I'm trying to get as much off of this as I can. I think definitely, though, when you're done with this technique, you'll want to, um, you know, recondition or clean off your jelly plate pretty good. Oh, 
Oh, the six the six by six would be a good size, Vaughn. Not too big, but it's bigger. I think the five by like the three by five is too little. Six by six is a good size. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this when I'm done. All right, so. All right, I think this is dry. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, if acrylics, let's get a, just a few, a small set of acrylics. What to do to do stamp that won't stamp clearly to make it stamp clearly? Do you put, okay, stampers. What do you put on a stamp when it's not stamping to kind of clean it off? Light rub with sandpaper. What about an eraser? Why am I thinking I've seen somebody use an eraser? Okay, Beth, thanks for watching. Yeah, I've got, um, I have a 16 by 20 plate, but I didn't want to use that for the Vaseline. Uh, I didn't want to use that on the Vaseline prints. We'd be here all day as I covered the whole thing with Vaseline. All right, let me get a... Um, Okay, Janet says fine sign of fine side of an emery board. Yeah, you can do you can do inks and you can do watercolor. Do you have a video, Shauna, using watercolor? I'd like to see how you do yours. And you can use you can use spray inks too, Vaughn. Do you have any spray inks? Okay, I need to put baby wipes on my list. I haven't tried those yet on the jelly plate. How have you used a Mylean on the jelly plate or have you watched a video? Why is my green paint? My green paint must not be dry because it's lifting up with the wipe, but where it is dry, see how this is just getting brighter here? Ooh. My paint's not dry. I let that dry a little bit longer. Let's see. This one's dry. Oh, uh, I don't, my stuff's not drying. Huh. Yeah, I'll have to watch some videos because I've tried inks on there and like stuff that's more water-based seems to um, beat up. Okay, I'm going to go back and look for one of your videos that you did. I didn't, I'm just curious. Because it's the same with, like, I've used inks, but I end up, I mix my inks with, um, with like, a acrylic paint so they don't just beat up. Yeah.
Yeah, the acrylic's the best for jelly printing. Okay, this is the one though that I did with the um, with the sponge. Huh. I can see in places where it shows through a little bit brighter. See, I think my, oh, you know what happens? The paint is in the Vaseline that wipes off. So you have to keep turning. You've got to keep turning the uh, baby wipe. Did she use a baby wipe or did she just use a um, paper towel? Maybe she just used a paper towel. I think you know what I think she just used a paper towel. That's what I. That's what's wrong. Oh, because if it does work, she used a paper towel. That's why I messed mine up. Okay, what happens, Vaughn? See, this didn't. Okay, I would suggest if you're doing this, you use your finger. Okay, so what happens? See here how it's bright? I wiped off the um, the Vaseline. I may have messed this up because I used the baby wipe. What should happen if you get the Vaseline? Oh, here. See how this is brightening up? You wipe the Vaseline off and it, you can see the brighter colors underneath. See, look at here, there. See, see how you get a nice crisp image of the um, of the stencil. And here, I messed this up because I used the baby wipe. So you just use a paper towel to wipe. Um, yeah, she did a peacock feather too. I've got a peacock feather. Let me see if I can do one really quick with a with a um also do it on smaller pieces of paper. Don't do it on eight by ten paper because it's a pain to put all the Vaseline all over the place. But yeah, see how bright that is now. Yeah, it's a resist. You're using the um, you're using the uh, Vaseline as a resist to get to get the brighter color. Because you could do, you could do this. Let me do this. You could do. You could put a color on here. And I was thinking, why wouldn't you do this? But then you're not getting the deep color of the paint. You could, um, yeah, index card size would be good. Okay. So you could do this. You could put paint on your jelly plate. And then take a stencil. This is another stencil girl stencil. Okay, so you could take a stencil. Lift the paint off. You know, open up the paint. Lift the keys off with a, a deli print so you can get in there and get all the paint up. You want to use deli paper so that'll get in all the little creases. 
otherwise it's really hard to get it clean. So you would do this. Let's see how that is. All right, there's still a lot of... I haven't jelly plated in a while. I forgot how much paint to use. I'm using way too much. This actually, you know what? This isn't that messy. It's not any messier than normal jelly plating. And you get a spot treatment on your hands because they get really soft. 